Good evening and welcome to another video by Reicher UK, the channel that gets under the skin of Uber. Right, I'm going to talk about something today. You've all heard about it and a lot of drivers are really peed off about it. So, and I'm just going to tell you what our side of the story is all about. Now, you've all, all heard from Uber that the drivers who are on 20% commission are moving up to 25% commission. Well, Uber are going to move in them. It's not like they have a choice. Uber is moving their commission rate higher. Right. Now, I'm not going to read you about uh, the email they've sent to us because that actually just makes me sick. I, I hated reading every single word on that email. Right. So, look, most of you drivers, if you're listening to this, and you're on a 25% commission, you are not going to understand what I'm talking about. You know, because this has become personal to all us 20% drivers. You know, and it is not about the actual 5% increase. You know, to be honest, we don't even give a toss about that. It's all about Uber's betrayal. You know, Uber's dishonesty. What is Uber actually known for? And that's what they've done. So, look, most of us are really disappointed on this. You know, we are really disappointed. And um, look, let me just give you guys a hug. You know, the 20% drivers, don't be shy. Just give us a hug. There you go. Look, you want some tissues? You know something? It has affected us really bad. You have some tissues. Wipe the tears. You know, you could do it. You know, there's some more here, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the tissues because I've got loads that comes from um, the Asda petrol station. I must remember to just pull one actually, but for somehow more than one just comes to my um, hand. Right. Listen, let's face the reality of this. You know, did we, the 20% drivers, think that this was going to last forever? Hmm? And the reality is, yes, we did. We actually did think that we are going to be on 20% uh, um, commission for a long time. You know, it, it, we didn't really think it was going to move up to 25%. And the main reason for that, I suppose, was that, you know, they really didn't give any indication of moving at, um, moving at any time. So that's probably the reason most of us... 20% drivers thought we're not going to really move up to 25%. But, you know, look, let's look at the character of a 20% driver. You know, they have they are saying that we are some sort of a backbone to building this, you know, Uber foundation at the beginning. You know, that's their words. Um, but the reality is, again, is that we, the 20% drivers, are probably the most unlawful drivers out there you know we left bases for uber well most of us is you know we've seen the bonuses all that sort of thing and we just went for it you know we are also a bit more of a risk taker at the same time and if it paid off well you know which it did actually at that time so this character of being charming caring creature you know that is what we are not and what uber has done to us now is actually changing us back into that character again i definitely myself am already you know I, I don't ring any customers anymore if they're not there at that particular point where they've indicated and i, I will be there it's not like i'm going to move away or anything you know i'm do i do not now make any more effort as ring them up, you know, I just can't be bothered of mainly of what they've done. I've even stopped telling jokes. I don't tell any jokes anymore to my customers. <laughs> Look, drivers in taxing are like starving hyenas. You know, we smell blood and we will rush to it. So my message to all the 20% um, drivers is quite simple. You know, we had it quite good for, what, five, six years or so. 
Um, I know in Birmingham, 25% uh, uh, went in uh, 1st of January, I think 2016. They came to Birmingham, I think February or March, something like that. So we had about 11 month uh, window there. The drivers who joined uh, within that window, and there must have been around, I don't know, about 1500 at that time. Obviously it's much more now. So Birmingham, Birmingham hasn't had that much of a driver, but there's other cities like London who Uber came two years prior to coming to Birmingham. They do have a lot more 20% drivers than you know other cities. And and that 20% figure, the 5% increase, it, it is a lot of money, you know, when you actually add up to it. And that 5% does make a difference to all of us you now are receiving a uh, holiday pay um, and that works around seven to eight percent and so you roughly know how much uh, a 20 percent driver was making more than you were around 30 40 uh, 40 quid you know but some drivers are you know losing out about i don't know 80 pound a week or so that's nearly 400 pound a month less than what they would be earning if it wasn't for that five percent um, uh, increase so there are drivers who are you know losing a lot of money and look I'm not gonna you know start calculating holiday f pay to make us self you know feel a bit more better about it you know I am gonna be honest here it is a huge disappointment for 20% drivers you know and there is no winners to this you know uber is definitely no winner you know i i now have a different approach to accepting jobs from other apps you know i will pri prioritize other apps more than uber right now purely because of that act they have done but look there's a saying isn't there times is the biggest healer and you know we really as a 20 percent drivers have to you know let time play yourself out here a job is still a job out there you know if you went to buy a, a pint of milk and if it was a pound and you went to one pound ten you know you're still buying it at one pound ten although you're losing 10p but it's still the same so you know we, we will we will adjust to it trust me after a while you know we will actually feel a lot better about this because this has have happened right now we're feeling a bit more deteriorated and um, things are getting more expensive the price of fuel is predicted to r rise again this year um, interest rate well you know if you got a mortgage and all that sort of thing loans they will start going up end of this year that's what you know the predictions out there in the markets are so it is going to become a lot more harder for us you know we're already feeling you know the 10 percent um, um reduction really in fares using the um fixed fare um, they do um you know th that that has an effect as well so we are going to feel a lot more money coming out of our pocket and um and also look look this is what really angers me the most you know and you see them using that um a few times were on the email which i haven't read <laughs> and they're talking about they want to equalize the drivers you know between the 20 percent and the 25 percent you know they're, they're saying look you know let's move everyone up to the same scale you know and why set the 20 percent drivers off with the 25 percent drivers you know why are you creating that chaos for in negotiation if he was going to do that you would meet halfway so the commission rate would be 22 and a half percent you know we would go up to 22 and a half they would come down to 22 and a half but you decided not to do that instead you're using some sort of a you know something that really sets um, us off against each other saying you know let's bring them all together it doesn't bring us all together not especially the 20 percent drivers of course it doesn't you know, and the sleaziness, we will see that again. They will start playing a bit more sleaziness um, um, 
um, sleaziness things. They'll start doing loads of things more now, which are really, really corrupt. And I've, um, you've probably seen earlier on on a video they were doing about uh, driver to driver, I think it was called, something like that on Uber channel, you know, where they were saying, um, how do you feel about other app companies not giving you holiday pay? You know, well, we don't care about other app companies not giving us holiday pay. Why are you mentioning that to us? You know, it took you ages going to court, you know, spending millions for you to do pay holiday pay. But why are you saying about other other companies for it does not make sense? You know, and it, we and we've seen what's his name, Jamie Haywood or something. You know, he's the new poster boy for this. Um, somehow, you know, he, he wants to become, become more in the spotlight, considering no one even heard about him all this time. He's come on, um, you know, newspapers and all that sort of thing saying, oh, you know, when, uh, other companies are not paying um, Uber drivers holiday pay. You know, we don't, we don't care. We really don't care about other companies if they pay holiday pay or not. You know, look, at, they're, they're, not, they're not charging um, commission rate of 25%. You know, where they could actually work a bit off from, you know, some of these companies are working, uh, app companies that are working from 15%. You know, us drivers are not stupid to know that, you know, if they were paying another 5 or 8% or 10% out of that, that company is not going to be there. So obviously us as a drivers aren't going to say, you know, oh, 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 yeah, you know, Bolt or Ola, they should be, you know, I mean, paying us holiday pay. You know, we shouldn't be really saying that because... They are quite competitive on commission as they are already. Anyway, this is going too long. I'll make another video next time and we'll carry on from there. But remember guys, 20% drivers, it's not that bad.